to access the MIDI clip editor page. Tap or hold the select clip icon in the sidebar then tap on any empty slot related to a MIDI track in the clip grid. In the top left corner the currently edited MIDI clip is shown. On the top part the clip overview allows you to get a visual overview of the clip's MIDI contents. It also serves as a zooming hotspot. Hold your finger and move it from one side to the other to zoom in and the other way around to zoom out. You can also pinch it with two fingers. Hold and move the red rectangle from the middle point to scroll the overview. Underneath there is the loop brace. Change its length by pinching it with two fingers. Move the brace left or right by dragging it with one finger. On the left side of the note sequencer, the note ruler allows you to scroll through the octaves and see which notes are edited in the entire range. You can also scroll through the notes by dragging the piano roll section. To zoom in and out, pinch with two fingers from anywhere on the note ruler. To change the quantization of the grid steps, open the bottom bar and set to value. If you tap on the triplets icon, all values are now triplet values. There are two note editing modes in the MIDI clip editor. In drum mode, you can create a note or multiple notes at once by tapping anywhere on the grid. Drag your finger across the grid to create a series of notes. The note's length will depend on the current quantization of the grid. Great for fast drum patterns editing. Tap on the Velocity tab to tweak the velocity of a selected pitch. To select a pitch, simply tap the corresponding note on the piano roll and adjust the velocity faders. In chord mode, keep your finger pressed and drag it to change the note's length. Dragging a note on its end will change its size. Dragging it in the middle which changes its position on the grid. A long tap will delete the note. This mode allows you to freely modify the note starts position and length. This is useful for precise swing editing. Quantization is only applied to the starting position of notes if the Q button in the bottom bar is activated. You can simultaneously tap on two or more different pitches to create chords. If you activate the default function, all the empty note rows of the grid are hidden. You can match the grid editor to a defined scale by opening the scales panels and select a scale among the 25 available. The notes out of the scales will be hidden, only allowing the in notes to be added. You can change the root of the scales with the arrows. Tap the NON button at the end of the scales list to get back to the chromatic grid. By opening the operations panel, you have access to several editing tools. The editing is done by selecting one or several knot rows. Just tap the rows you want to select in the piano row. The slots become red. If nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Multiply by 2 and divide by 2 shrinks or stretches the select notes. 
If nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Duplicate operation duplicates the loop in its duration if nothing is selected. If you select one or several note rows, you must increase the clip length first in order to make the duplication effective. Legato operation lengthens or shortens its selecting notes if it is just long enough to reach the beginning of the next selecting note. If nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Reverse operation, reverse the selected notes horizontally around the center of the selection. If nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Invert operation flips the selected notes so that the highest note is swept with the lowest note. Two rows of notes or more must be selected to get invert working, but if nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Mute operation deactivates the notes contained in the selected rows. Tap a second time on the mute button to activate them again. If nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Delete operation deletes the notes contained in the selected rows. If nothing is selected, the whole clip will be affected. Divide by 2 or multiply by 2 the current clip length by tapping the respective buttons located at the end of the operation panel. The clip length selector allows you to easily set the length of the current MIDI clip. Press and hold one of the three buttons and slide your finger up or down so that the value increases or decreases.